Velma is a new take on classic Scooby-Doo characters that puts Velma Dinkley at the center of the mystery. While many YouTubers have already covered this show extensively for its controversial choices, I want to discuss some of the more basic reasons this show isn't working for most people. Before we get into that, of course, I'd like to thank you all for 1,000 subscribers on this page. It really means a lot, and I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. But Jakey's Norville, we have to get back to the latest mystery. There are three big reasons, in my opinion, why Velma doesn't work. And it has nothing to do with the usual things I hear people complain complain about. For example, race swapping isn't an immediate negative. Some of y'all have never seen the Shawshank Redemption and it shows. They sort of just delete Scooby-Doo from this, which is, yeah, okay, that's just a bad decision. There's not one situation I can think of that would not be vastly improved with a dog present. Dogs make everything better. That's just a plain and simple fact. Velma can't decide if it's writing for hipsters or for longtime Scooby-Doo fans. It's constantly juggling jokes for both of these audiences that clash and ultimately result in a defective product. Like who thought it would be funny to make Norville or Shaggy anti-weed. You just turned one of the coolest eluded stoner characters of all time into a narc. I just don't find that funny, but more so like I'm watching the worst timeline for some of my favorite characters from my childhood. While most other versions of Scooby-Doo have a goofier and subtle tone to its more adult themes, Velma is mean-spirited and in-your-face the entire time. In the first five minutes of the show, we are uncomfortably placed in the girls' showers at a high school featuring many Britta Perry-feeling jokes from Velma that just don't land. Velma is also super rude to two detectives in the next scene harping on a lesbian stereotype. They completely threw out a tried and true formula to make the show more adult, but I feel they've missed the point of why Scooby-Doo is so enjoyable in the first place. It has always been a joke since the dawn of time. Or, or, well, just since Scooby-Doo premiered back in 1969, that there were some more adult things happening in the background. I think the most famous example of this is in the 2002 movie where Shaggy and Scoob are uh, grilling in the van and a bunch of smoke is blown out of the mystery machine. I don't think any of the adults watching this for the first time thought that they were just grilling in there. Or what about a joke that literally happens in the same scene where Shaggy and Scooby are invited to Spooky Island but decline the offer because... Oh, we don't go near any place with spooky, haunted, forbidden, or creepy in the name. Well, hydrochronic. Right, or hydroclonic, but that's for a whole different reason, man. Maybe it's because I'm a 2000s baby, but that's hilarious. Oh, sweet, sweet nostalgia. Velma's pretentious vibe renders the show no audience unless you're hate-watching it. I'm almost convinced that may be the point of the entire show. The big reason for that is it completely loses that goofy self-awareness by not understanding who its audience even is. I could see doing a show where it's an adult animated comedy with almost the same premise totally working, though. Velma would disagree with this, and she's even very very vocal about that in this new show, but it would be hilarious to see Shaggy smoke dope in an adult animated Scooby-Doo series. Could you imagine a B-plot where Scooby eats all of Shaggy's edibles? I mean, that literally writes itself. Instead, Velma likes to awkwardly make Norville point out how horrible weed is constantly. Ugh. While I think adult Scooby-Doo could work, there's one thing it has to nail that Velma doesn't even make an attempt at. Instead of just, you know, throwing out everything that made almost every other version of Scooby-Doo great, Velma should have just embraced the tropes we're all familiar with and reinvented them. Velma is constantly solving the mysteries while everyone just hangs out, right? Well, why not write an arc for the very first pilot episode of the show where Velma has to stand up to the gang and say, hey, y'all gotta start pulling your weight. They opted to start the show with Velma already being and working as a lone wolf, but then claim that she brings everyone together. So the point of the series is to show how Velma became more complacent? That just sucks. You're telling me that Velma goes from angry teenager to a low confident recluse? I just don't see how that could possibly be the origin story for a genius detective without completely abandoning the character traits of Velma herself. You could instead reinvent the character by starting in that position and have her evolve into a more stern and confident leader. Like imagine the very first episode of the show being the gang going to solve a mystery at let's say the haunted corn dog stand. Velma does all the work fighting off the corn dog demons while Fred and Daphne hook up and Shaggy and Scooby get high. Velma now just having enough but also being non confident just talks to her family about how hard all of this is. They tell her to stand up for herself. Come on, Velma, you're doing all the work here. Start telling the group to pull their weight. After the rest of the gang hangs out at the spooky ice rink, I guess, they get possessed by ice demons. Velma is now the only person who can help them, and she performs an exorcism on all four of them. Tell me that wouldn't be hilarious to see all of these characters possessed by demons talking like they're Reagan from The Exorcist. Her mother sucks. Okay, yeah, you know, I can't finish that on YouTube. After saving them, she tells everybody that they have to start pulling their weight, or she 
she's gonna start knocking heads off. Everyone, kind of scared now, complies and starts trying to be more useful throughout the first season. I don't know, man. I think that would be great setup for an adult Scooby-Doo show, and Velma is just not it for me. If you do like the show, though, all the power to you. These are just my thoughts. Talking about your thoughts, though, what do you guys think about Velma? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this cute little video on HBO Max's Velma. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more vids on tunes in the future. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one, Space Cowboy.